guys, it's Rune the Math Person. Today I'll be going over question 163 on SO exam P. So pause the video quick and try to spawn it yourself. Okay, as soon as you're attentive, let's just dive right in. So basically, this question is a binomial distribution to start off with because they give you n is equal to 40 and they give you the, also the probability is equal to 0.5. And how do I know it's binomial distribution? Well, the thing is, you can either get this answer correct or you can get it incorrect. There's no in between and it's also independent of all the other questions. So it's a good little sign that tells you this is a binomial distribution. So then you know for a binomial distribution, the mean is equal to n times p. So in our case, this is going to be equal to 40 times 0.5, which is equal to 20. And if we're a state variance of a binomial distribution, the formula is n times pq. So that in our case, this is going to be equal to 40 times p, which is 0.5 times 0.5, which is equal to 10. So then the standard deviation is just the square root of variance, which is square, to, square root of 10. And they then they tell you the probability the student answered is a given question correctly is, so I'm going to call x the variable that represents answers correctly. Okay, so probably that x is greater than n is greater than 0.1. And they also tell you to calculate n using a normal approximation with the continued correction. Okay, so this is a nice thing that they reminded you because sometimes on the exam, I've seen some questions where it's a normal approximation with a discrete function. So you know that there has to be a continuity correction, but they don't remind you. So at least this question reminded you. I actually made a whole video about continuity corrections, but here's a little summary. So if x is greater than n, where this is n right here, in a continuous case, this is what it's going to look like. But in a discrete case, the n takes on a little bit bigger space, right? So it's going to look like this. So you notice there's this little gap here that the approximation is not taking into account because if x is greater than n, so not including that number, this is the part that we're looking for. So you're it's actually overestimating it by this little chunk. So someone said, okay, so then just scoot n this way by 0.5. Then n will be this part right here now, like a new n will be here, and x is greater than the n plus 0.5 right here, is going to be better able to approximate the area that we're looking for for a discrete variable. So then this is going to look like this. The probability after the continuity correction is going to look like probability that x is greater than n plus 0.5, and because we know that this is a normal approximation, we can just plug our stuff in here, so that probably the x is greater than n plus 0.5 minus mean, which is 20, divided by our standard deviation, square root of 10. So this is equal to point greater than 0.1. Okay, so n plus negative 19.5 divided by square root of 10. Let's pull up our z table and see what value corresponds to 0.9 since we're looking at the positive side. So that's going to be equal to 1.28. So then n has to be equal to 1.28 times square root of 10 plus 19.5. So this is equal to 23.55. So n can be equal to 23 or 24. Let's just double check which one it will be. Oh, it actually can't be 24 because that's not one of the choices, but let's just double check to make sure 23 is indeed greater than 0.1. So the probability that x is greater than 23 is that greater than 0.1. So it will be, if we normalize it, it will be probability that z is greater than 23 minus 20 divided by square root of 10. So the probability that z is greater than 0.94 is that greater than 0.1. So z is greater than 0.94, it's like here, is this greater than 0.1? So at 0.94, the value is 0.8264. So that means this part right here is 1 minus 0.8264, which is 0.1736, which is indeed greater than 0.1. Check. So our answer will be 23, our answer A. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye.